Bryce Harper, 0 for 4 with three strikeouts. And now he is 2 for 20 with 10 strikeouts and just one walk, batting 100 in his last six games. And what's more, he is coming up with miscues in the field, which never used to happen. I'm not saying I'm not saying he's the world's greatest right fielder, but he played a solid right field. It says right here. In fact, Joe Girardi is asked about Bryce Harper during his media availability. Philly's taking on the chin tonight, and here is Joe Girardi about the game. Hey Joe, I was wondering uh, on that play in the fifth, throw from McCutcheon, Bohm cuts it off. Uh, look, looked to me like he could have let that go, and it would have been yeah. a play. Did it great. I would have to agree with you. I think there's a play at the plate. Did you ask him, uh, you know, what he, what he saw, or is it just a that's what happens in that moment? It's something that we will take care of. And then um, should Segura? I mean, what happened to Segura on there? He, you know, he kind of stayed on the ground and, and didn't get up. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. I, I, I guess we keep talking about the defense. It must be maddening to you at this point. Yeah, it's frustrating. It's it's really frustrating because I believe we're better than what we're playing. Um, and we work on it every day and we do things every day. Um, it's frustrating for everyone involved. Let's go to Matt Breen and then Matt Gelb. Joe, just what, what have you seen from Nola tonight? And, and it seems like kind of going through a tough stretch. Yeah, I mean, the first, the, inning, he, the first inning, he, he, he gave up some ground ball hits, right? And then he gives up the double, um, fly ball to left field, um, to Devers. And then he gets the two quick outs, and he hangs a curveball to Santana, and then it kind of it snowballed a little bit. Um, you know, I, did, I, I thought his stuff was pretty good the first four innings. I really did, even though he gave up the two runs in the first and then the fifth. He threw a lot of pitches. They made him work a lot of pitches, and they got to him again. Um, but I, I thought his stuff was better today than it's been. Boom's defense wasn't perfect last year, but it seems like it was a lot better than it was this year. What What do you think caused him to take a step back? <sighs> it's a really good question. Um, I, I think there's frustration in the young man, um, probably on both sides of baseball, uh, both sides of the baseball, and I think that you know, you have to learn how to <clears throat> handle each one of them separately and continue to work. I mean, he works his butt off. He really does. Um, but sometimes things can snowball a little bit before they get better. But we got to get him to come out of it. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, I know this was last year before the game, but I can't help but, but ask it again. Is there something going on with Bryce? I mean, at the plate and in the field, it just seems like something something weird just it doesn't look like himself <laughs> he's, just, he's just off and and we've seen a ton of left-handers i mean a ton um and and i know he's hit left-handers in his career but obviously his numbers are a little bit better against right-handers in his career but he's just he's off i mean he's went through this before he'll he'll get it back he'll get it back and he'll get hot again and and do a lot of great things but right now he's off and regarding Bohm, are you in a position where you can, where you, where you sit him maybe to try to clear his mind, or because you, I mean, you, you look at your, I look at your roster, and I'm not even sure. Yeah, like I don't know what you would I do mean, there. we will continue to to look for ways to get him, you know, going on both sides of the baseball, and we'll talk about it, and we'll make decisions, and I can't tell you what's going to happen tomorrow, but we'll continue to talk about it. <laughs> That brand? <laughs> so I'm gonna. I can assume that Vince is okay now. Yeah. And, <laughs> and how about Ch Chase Anderson? I. What was the plan to use him yesterday? I mean tomorrow. And does that? What, well, and then I just that needed him today. Next? I needed him today. Um, unfortunately, you know, I was hoping to hold him back till tomorrow. I'll see if he's available tomorrow. I'm not sure, but you know, you got to get through one day before you can worry too much about the next. Joe Girardi looks alternately seething. He looks exasperated. Then exasperated. It, it, you know, all rolled up into one. Yeah. Asked about the bone play. Asked about Bohm's play. Got to get him going on both sides of the baseball. Asked about Bryce Harper. He'll get it going. He's gone through this before, he said. I know he's hit left-handers, but we faced a ton of left-handers. He hits righties better. Doesn't know what's going on necessarily in the field. 
but he seems embarrassed. Yeah, I mean, I can understand where Joe is coming from. Um, he's seen a lot of baseball in his life, and when you're not seeing good, clean, crisp baseball, it, it is exasperating, and there's so much to dissect just from this one game, Michael. From a defensive standpoint, from a pitching standpoint, from an offensive standpoint, there's so many thoughts going through his mind right now. How can I get this team right? How can I get them to show up, be a little bit more professional every day, get them going? Do I have to kick them in the rear? What do I do? Do I scream and shout at them? They're grown men. We play 162 games. But where is that fine line? We see, you know what? I've had enough. We saw Brad Miller get ejected last night. We saw Archie Bradley throwing his glove down after his first inning pitching. Um, there's a lot to dissect from this, and there's a lot for Joe Girardi to pick apart. It's where, where do you start? What is the most important thing for our ball club right now? Is it the defense? Is it the pitching? Is it the offense? There's so much of it that you, you probably doesn't know where to start.